We set our story in ancient Greece, where a temple of Aphrodite lies in the town of Almaros. The high priestess of the temple, Lacana, is a diligent woman, respected by all who live in the town, dedicated to the goddess and her temple. That is to say, she was. I present to you her story. My dearest Lacana, I request your service. My future husband, though very kind and wise, is very old, and has a face of insidious and insulting around I trust him with all his and trust him with his mind. I do not love him, I never have loved him. Please, I request you to plead to the gods, my face. O oh, humble villager, worry not. The goddess Aphrodite will surely hear your plea. She will not allow such a travesty to pass. I will seek her guidance for you. Such kindness in your heart, I will forever be great pleasure. O oh, goddess, hear your humble servant's voice. <sighs> what do you want? This is the fifth time this week. I have more important things to do than to listen to mortals whine, you know. I I'm sorry, my goddess. Whatever, just get on with it. A, a, a mortal woman begs your opinion because she is to be wed to a man with the face of a horse, and she does not love him, and she wants out. She requests your assistance, my goddess. <sighs> oh, sweetie, you've got to tell her there's nothing she can do about it. I mean, have you seen my husband's face? Uh, the only thing hot about that man is his forge, but you don't hear me complaining about it. Tell this girl there's nothing she can do about it. If she gives me a couple of offerings and asks real nice, all will be well. I'll make sure they fall in love, and I might even pretty him up a little if I feel like it. But, but my goddess... Are you arguing with me? Uh, no, no, goddess, of course not. Your will be done. <laughs> Aphrodite is a goddess. I couldn't possibly go against her. She knows what she's doing. But, but that advice that she's going to ruin that poor girl's life. Even I could do better. E even I... Just what exactly do you think you are doing? Aphrodite is a goddess for a reason, girl. She is eons old and has far more experience with this kind of stuff than you do. You think you know better? Please. I, I was I was just thinking. No, you weren't. If you've been thinking, you wouldn't have even thought that. I, that doesn't make sense. Be quiet. You go give the girl the advice she needed from the goddess she asked. Shoo, off you go. Thinking she knows better than a goddess. Ha, huh, this girl is going to give me an ulcer. This, this girl came to me for advice. I can't, I can't give her bad advice. I can't let her be miserable. I'm the, I'm a priestess of the goddess of love and beauty. I have to help her. I'll give her my advice. Aphrodite won't notice. Maiden, put your fears to rest. The goddess Aphrodite has heard your voice and she has spoken. Flee this man, for the marriage, for marriage to a man with the face of a pig is no better than marriage to an actual pig itself. Be free and run. Find someone that you truly love, and Aphrodite will guide you in your noble quest. Oh, thank you. Praise to Aphrodite. Thank you a thousand thanks. Hi, Priestess. Can you spare a moment of your time? Of course, my messenger. From whence do you come? I come from Hera's temple, and they bear a very important message. So it has angered an Olympian. They've interfered with fate's plan for a marriage and should watch themselves. This individual should watch his steps and heed the gods, lest they incite their wrath. Uh, someone from Aphrodite's temple interfering in a marriage? I think not. You may stand for the goddess of marriage, but I speak for the goddess of love. Uh, Look, leave this place, ill-informed messenger. No one from this temple has angered a god, nor will they ever. Have it your way. It's your funeral. to mature. It takes time and patience, dear. Time and patience. But, but her face... Wait, wait a second. By the way, Lakana, what happened with 
the other girl? Why did she separate from her fiance? I thought I told you to tell her to stay with him. I did! I relayed I relayed your instructions to the letter, my goddess. I don't know what happened, but she she disobeyed your orders and ran away. Liar. Hmm. I guess so. Who dares enter the temple of Aphrodite without notice? It is I, the messenger of Athena. May I warn you, what you are doing is not wise. To put behind the gods' back and go against their wishes is not a smart path to take. Not wise, not smart? Who do you think you are to tell me, a high priestess, what is unwise? May I repeat, it is I, the messenger of Athena, who has to warn you. Well, who do you think you are to tell me how to run my temple? I am a high priestess of Aphrodite. I have been in charge of this for ten years. Do not put yourself above me. Do not think yourself better of me. Do not tell me how to run my temple. If you insist... I shall leave, but do not ignore this. You should continue down this path. You will find yourself sinking further down this bottomless pit that you created. I will continue to insist because I have done nothing wrong, nor has anyone in my temple. Oh, hi, princess. I don't know what to do. What ails you, villager? It's my wife. She no longer loves me. I love her to the core of my being, but she feels nothing for me. Bless, heaven forbid, she despises me. I don't know what to do with our marriage. Our marriage comes day by day. Oh, what a sad and cruel fate to have unrequited love in one's own marriage. God, Aphrodite will surely pity you, villager. I, the goddess of love and beauty will not allow you to go through this alone. She will come through in your time of healing. Goddess Aphrodite, hear my prayer. What is it now? This is like the third time today, Miss Priestess. I don't care if you're the High Priestess, but this is getting out of control. I'm tired, and I'm busy, and what can you not understand about that? My goddess, I, di I didn't mean... No, no, of course you didn't. What do you want this time? Uh, a man is having trouble with his marriage, my goddess. He, um, he doesn't think she loves him anymore. He asks for your guidance. And why should I give you my answer? You haven't been relaying my advice anyway. I, I wouldn't! I, I relay your commands to the letter, my goddess! You know what is best. You are a goddess, after all. Never go against my advice, you say? Well, if that's the case, then tell your bowing mortal my advice. His marriage will fall. Even if he loves his wife, they obviously were meant to be together. He better leave and forget about all about her. Leaving's the best option. His marriage was doomed from their wedding day. But my, my goddess, he loves this woman. He truly does. I could see it in his eyes. You can't just... Stop I the cannot. I cannot. Who are you, a mortal, a priestess, to tell the goddess of love and beauty what she can and cannot do? Who are you to judge my advice? I'm sorry, my goddess. <sighs> this is all you're getting from me today. Okay, I may have gone a little far. A little? You call that a little? Foolish girl, you are playing with fire, and you are an inch from getting your ba face burned off. I, I just wanted to help that man. I. Aphrodite would have had him part from the woman of his dreams. This again? You want to defy Aphrodite not once, to two twice, but three times, all in the same day? What are you thinking, child? Where is your brain gone? I don't, I don't need this. I'm just trying to help him. Aphrodite's advice would have crushed him. I, I'm doing what's best. Even Aphrodite has to make mistakes. Oh, humble villager, hear Aphrodite's decree. Your love is true and your marriage is not doomed. Go to your wife and speak with her. The goddess Aphrodite will, will guide you through your counsel. Oh, thank you, High Priestess. I will go to my wife at once. May your life be blessed and clear out Thank you. Look at how happy that man was. I helped him. I'm sure I did. He was filled with joy in my words. How crushed would he have been to know that his wife would never love him? I know I did the right thing. I had to. Third time today. What is it, Messenger? I am the Messenger. It is time to pay your penance for your crimes. I, I did nothing wrong. I helped those people. I was, I was doing a good thing. You have ignored two warnings so far. It is too late to repent. No, I, I helped those people. I, I did what was good. If I hadn't intervened, a woman would have an ugly husband, another would have her unsightly face, and a man would have known that his wife would never love him. Please, I helped them. I helped them. As was the will of the mates. You have defied the will of the gods and so attempted to place yourself on their level. It is over. Please, no, have mercy! Thus ends the tale of Lakana. She had everything. Beauty, honor, respect, the love of all of those around her, 
and yet she fell so far. But that is what happens to those who put themselves on the level of the gods. Be warned.